Yes, there is a better way of managing your WordPress comments that doesn't involve using the default WordPress comment section, which is clustered, clunky, and not very user-friendly. So let me show it to you. Private Comments is the ultimate plugin to manage, organize, and interact with everyone who is participating in your blog discussions. And it's the tool that I wanna show you how to use. But first, let's talk about managing comments. And I want us to look at the back end of thrivethemes.com for you to get a really good feel of how powerful Thrive Comments is. Now, for context, our website is a monster of a website. We've got thousands of articles published on our blog and we've got tons of people commenting on a lot of our blog posts. And furthermore, we actually have multiple people writing, writing articles on our blog. This means that if Chipo is writing an article, we wanna make sure that she gets notified via email when someone drops in a comment in one of her posts. And you know the same thing for blog posts that Brad has published or that Tony has published. We wanna make sure that there is an easy way for us to delegate comments amongst different writers and that it's easy enough for each content creator to manage comments for articles that they are responsible for. And this is all possible thanks to Thrive Comments. Perfect, take a look at this. This is the traditional WordPress section for you to manage your WordPress comments. As you can see, it's just not very good looking. I mean, if I had to reply and read all of these comments from this dashboard, it would be a real nightmare. It's just not easy on the eyes. It's not comfortable for me to reply back to people. And it's also not easy for me to do other things like, you know, delegate comments to other people and stuff like that. So let's take a look at how Thrive Comments takes this uh, clunky looking dashboard and enhances it by um, improving the user experience and user interface uh, quite a bit. So take a look at this. This is the Thrive Comments dashboard for uh, the backend of our site. And as you can see, we've got a lot of comments uh, and they are uh, split it up into uh, all comments, pending comments that still need to be reviewed. So um, as a rule of thumb, we here at Thrive, the Thrive Themes, we like to vet comments just because there's a lot of spam coming through uh, WordPress comments. And we want to make sure that comments that get published on our blog posts are uh, you know, legitimate and that they are uh, from real people that have real questions so that, uh, you know, have an opinion to share and so on. And so uh, we do have a pending section here in Save Thrive Comments that allows us to vet those comments that are coming in. We also have comments that haven't been replied to, comments that are pending my particular reply. So um, as we're going to see in a second, there's a way for us to delegate comments so that uh, people that uh, have been uh, writing specific content pieces can concentrate on those comments that, that are coming through uh, particular uh, blog posts. And so these are comments that are specifically waiting for Tony's response. We also have featured comments, spam comments, and comments that have been thrown directly into the trash can. And it's no secret, as you can see, the dashboard is much, much prettier. Uh, you can see a comment that came in from Jasmine, and she has a really long comment for uh, Brad, it's still waiting moderation. As you can see, it's been assigned to Bradley Stevens because it was published in a blog post that was written by Bradley Stevens um, on August 3rd. So um, there are a couple of things that I can do with this comment. First things first, I could approve the comment, but since it's not my comment to uh, respond to, I'm just gonna let Brad take care of that. But I could delegate this comment and ping Brad to make sure that he understands that this comment still needs to be vetted and still needs a response. So I'm gonna go ahead and delegate that comment so that Brad knows that it's his comment to reply to. But if I wanted to reply back to this comment, it's as simple as just hitting this reply button, typing in my response, this would be my response to Jasmine. And I could just hit reply and approve and that comment would be posted on the front end of my website in the actual blog post all within this dashboard. It's super easy for me to manage. It's super easy for me to reply back to people. And um, it's super easy for other team members to see what kinds of discussions are happening on our blog without having to go inside each individual article. And a cool nifty feature that I wanna show you is that if you're using Thrive Ovation to capture and display testimonials on your website, you can take comments that are coming in through your blog and add them in as testimonials inside Thrive Ovation, which is a pretty nice feature. I can just come here and save this comment as a testimonial. I can tag the testimonial so that it actually gets saved within a specific category group of testimonials within Thrive Ovation. And uh, yeah, this would just get saved as a testimonial. It's, it's that simple. Now this is great for managing comments, but what also makes Thrive Comments really special is that it also enhances the way in which people are going to engage with your blog on the front end. And 
there are a variety of different ways in which it can do this. So Thrive Comments gives you a variety of different settings that you can play with to really enhance how your comments uh, are going to look like and behave on your blog articles. So let me just give you a quick rundown, okay? So you have, you first have general settings and these are settings such as, uh, do you know, do you wanna turn on Thrive Comments site-wide? Which if you are using Thrive Comments, you wanna make sure that, that this toggle is enabled. And you also have small little details like, hey, do you wanna force users to be registered and logged in in order to be able to comment on your website? This is cool if you wanna prevent people from uh, spamming your blog, for example, because a lot of people will try to just dropping their link uh, you know, they're linked to their website without actually commenting anything meaningful. So it's cool to be able to force to log in, uh, to force to be able to uh, have people log in prior to commenting um, on your articles. Uh, you can disable commenting on art articles older than uh, an X given amount of days. Uh, you can break the list of comments into different pages so that you don't have a humongous list of comments. And if you're a European citizen, you also have small little details like having people accept GDPR prior to leaving comments, which is pretty nifty. Now, a cool thing about Thrive Comments that I really like is um, the behavioral aspect of it. Like what happens once people drop in a comment on your blog? You actually get to determine what happens, uh, which is pretty cool. Like. Uh, right now, we are simply use, uh, showing off a, a thank you message. Uh, hey, thank you. We appreciate your input. Your comment has been submitted for this post. And then that comment gets uh, pulled into our Thrive Comments um, dashboard and we get to vet it. We get to decide whether we want to approve the comment or just simply discard it. And of course, reply back to the comment, right? But what's really cool is that you can even show opt-in forms. You can redirect users to a, a separate page. Uh, you can show related posts or even prompt people to share the post on their social media profiles. So the fact that you can actually get people to sign up to your email list after uh, confirming that they're a warm lead, I mean, someone that takes the time to log into your, uh, to your blog or, or create an account on your blog to drop in a comment on your article is someone that is definitely clearly expressing some sort of interest in, in your content, right? And the fact that you can actually prompt them to opt in is pretty cool. And the way it works is you simply show them a Thrive box that you've created with Thrive Leads, which is pretty cool. But it doesn't end there. We've also thought about, okay, what happens if someone um, submits a comment and then somebody else, whether it's us or a third-party user, replies back to that person's original comment? If that person comes back to reply back to the person that has replied back to their original comment, uh, we're allowing you to customize the behavior of what happens next. In this case, we're not showing them a thank you message, we're uh, prompting them to share the article on social media. But you may decide that, hey, okay, on step one, I don't wanna give people the opportunity to opt in into my email newsletter. I don't think they're warm enough or I don't think it's, it's a good use of my time because I don't think they're gonna opt in. But if I, say, if I show them a thank you message on their first comment, and then they come back and take the time to engage on my website again, you may decide that that is a good enough time or a good enough opportunity for you to really get them to opt in into your email newsletter. So it's really cool that you actually have all of these different options. Now, if you have Facebook and Google applications created, you can also let people log in into your site, log in into your site or opt in into your site to be able to comment by signing up with uh, Facebook or Google. You can obviously customize the accent color of your comment boxes. Uh, you can customize whether you want to let people use their Gravatar profile picture in order for their profile pictures to show up on the uh, comment section, like in the example here. If you want to take your comment section and turn it into like a forum-like discussion, you can even award people badges. Uh, there are badges, like we've got a badge here for a top commenter. Like if you've uh, commented 50 times on our blog and we've approved those 50 comments, you're going to get a badge. You're also going to get... Um, a badge if you've received 30 upvotes. Upvoting is a thing with Thrive Comments, which really turns your comment section into like a Reddit-like discussion. Uh, you really want to showcase those those really upvoted comments towards the top of the comment section, which is really nice. And of course, an important one is notifications. You want to make sure that uh, you stay notified when uh, someone replies back to your article or someone replies back to your comment. Uh, this is particularly important for you to really uh, take the time to go back to your article and make sure that you don't leave uh, users disengaged. Like if someone takes the time to really drop in a comment on your blog, you know, take the time back to uh, to reply back to them. There's also this really nice feature inside Thrive Comments, which is comment moderation. Uh, there's going to be a time on your WordPress journey where you're going to get 
sick and tired of all of the spam that you're getting. And there's a few different ways in which you can tackle this or try to fix this problem. I'm, I'm gonna work on a video um, coming soon on that. But a really cool feature about Thrive Comments that allows you to really fight that spam is uh, to not allow comments uh, that contain specific words. For example, there was a time here at Thrive Themes where we would get it, uh, a lot of comments from cryptocurrency websites and stuff like that. And the fact that you can actually um, completely discard comments that are coming in and that have the word Binance or uh, gate.io or um, coin market cap or something and just have those comments get completely thrown into the trash can so that I don't even have to spend my time, my valuable time into trying to determine which comments are good or bad is pretty valuable in my opinion. And some really nice advanced settings here is that you can actually have uh, keywords linked to specific places when you're typing back. So, uh, you know, if you have a, uh, like a page where you're showing off the rules to be able to comment on your blog, if a moderator is actually typing in the comment section and uh, he types out the word rule, you could have that word automatically linked to your rules page so that you don't have to actually be manually linking to the rules page every time you wanna have someone redirect to the, to the rules page. And for those that are managing blogs in other languages other than English, yes, you can customize and translate labels as well so that, hey, instead of reply, uh, you say responder or something like that. Like, yes, Thrive Comments is fully prepared to be able to support other languages other than English. Thrive Comments is a really, really powerful tool that is going to make your life so much easier when it comes to managing your WordPress comments. And it also has some really fun features that really takes the comment section of your blog posts and turns them into a phenomenal place to have forum-like discussions. So if you have any questions for me, I will be more than happy to answer them down in the comment section below. And if you wanna learn more about Thrive Comments and all of the great things that you can do with it, there is a link in the description, description box that you can click on to do so. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Thanks.